This is going to be a very quick video to show the pitch bend tool in LMMS. You make a note of some length. You click this thingy, little graphy thing. To get back out there, you click the pencil, by the way. Graphy thing. Click the note. You get to the note detuning automation editor. All right. So we have our note here. We have this thing. If I draw a curve here, we see the line appear on this, showing what that curve means. The note is only so long, so go, building the curve up past the end of the note does nothing. So if we do this, this note is going to wave up and down. And uh, if we make another note, that node is going to start without any of that effect on it, but if we instead do a control click, drag, control C, put the play or paste, paste, we can get a copy of the note that does have the same effect. So We can pick any one of them and do some edits to that curve. And if we want, we can also play with the type of curve. So this button changes it from linear to just flat lines. This button makes it a smooth curve with a tension parameter. So if we set the tension all the way down, that's the same as linear. If we set the tension all the way up, it's smoother. Not really very audible in this case. It's a thing you can do, but the main differences are whether it's smooth at all or not. And normally you're probably going to want linear because that's more or less what your actual guitar or whatever, or slide whistle, what have you, is most likely going to sound like. So to reiterate, once you have a note, you use this blue button here and you click the note to get an automation editor. You set waypoints and drag them around. You can right click waypoint to get rid of it. And uh, you can um, change the type of curve in this tension thing. And this bar length is only meaningful up to the note length. If you try to put a waypoint past the end of the note, it's just not going to understand what you're doing. So, um... Uh, that's pretty much it for how you use pitch bending. There's not really more to say on that subject. I just wanted to get it out there. It's not an effect I tend to use much. I should probably use it more than I do, to be honest. Bye.